Hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic and we are here at Naharan River, North Carolina. Have not been here in a while, unless there is some type of event normally. But guys, I am come I basically came here at the bequest of one of my viewers. His name is Spencer. I think it's Hawk. Like Hawkeye, <laughs> except it's spelled H A U C K. Anyway, I came here because he informed me that he found a really, really good spot for unique long nose gar. Now, that's, that's important. They're not easy to catch, not easy to locate. And apparently, according to this gentleman, there's a really good spot over here in the great parking job. And I came in here off screen to test it out make sure I had the right spot the right location and fish there for a little bit and I'll tell you what he's dead he's dead right he is dead right it is here and you know you will get like a lot of lot of uh, flathead catfish as well so it's also a really good spot for them uh, great spot for bass great spot for smallmouth bass and if you keep your your baits more simple I mean more gar based or catfish based you won't get the largemouth bass or the smallmouth bass but if you want to get them you can use shiners and large minnows as well uh, he had informed me that he used medium cut bait to catch them with a, a four out hook I've been catching them on a lot of things <laughs> a whole lot of things uh, let's come in here and take a look here but let me go ahead and get a private room and let's see before we go in further I'll show you let's see in my fish keeper this is just what I caught in the short time I've been fishing here I got about 11,489 cash 308 pounds of fish been fishing maybe about 45 minutes an hour it's not bad it's not bad at all not for here especially but let's see we got one two three four trophy flathead catfish seven more flatheads and there he is the unique the unique long nose gar right there 18 pounder he was definitely right now we just got the one but look at the baits I've been catching them on buffalo kidneys large cut bait crankbait three foot the um, crawfish type with a three out hook, large cut bait, crawfish. Sh no, actually, I haven't caught them off of shiners. I don't think. Have I? No. Medium cut bait, of course. They really <laughs> like. Let's see. The uh, catfish really like the flat uh, buffalo kidneys. And the long nose gar really like the large cut bait. So you can use medium cut bait, large cut bait. I'm sure the huge cut bait would probably work as well. So there's a lot of things. Basically, anything that says gar in it would probably work. This liver, I would imagine, would probably work as well. I haven't got anything off of it. So I'm just kind of testing to see if it works. I always like to test different baits, see which the fish goes for the most. But let me go in here and I'll show you exactly where he showed me, or told me, in the comments below one of my my uh, video descriptions. But basically you need to just get right here where the truck is. Position yourself kind of in line with it as much as you can. Now the location 
that he's talking about, if you look over here, he basically told me right in front of the truck that's uh, buried in the water there, there is a ledge right there, and there's a groove. There's the groove. And you can see the two boulders r as uh, the, the red goes right between them there. You want to throw it just a little bit to the left. Now, I marked where that unique longnose gar was caught. So, we can go to the map for those of you who like coordinates. That's the northern snakehead. Grab the wrong one. There it is. Okay. Here are the coordinates 47.08, negative 8.90. That's where you need to throw it. It's approximately 90 to 95 feet out, give or take. So, as long as you can toss it out there. Now, I did catch it off the bottom rod. But I've caught the, well, I caught the one long nose gar off of a crankbait. So they go for them there. I was just fishing with that, just messing around, throwing it right through there. So might be able to catch the uniques that way. I don't know yet. I might be able to catch the uniques there. I don't know yet for sure, but we're starting to get to the end of our peak here, though. That's that's the only problem. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and advance time to the peak at night. Gar are much better, much easier to catch at night anyway. Go ahead and put our rod pod down. That's also true for catfish. They're easy to catch in this time as well. And we're going to throw everything we got. Now that's a little too far. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it between 95 and 94. Press the clip and then let it down. That way when I have to throw it back out, I won't have to keep trying to figure out where it is. I'm going to throw this just to the right of it a little bit. Okay, that may not have been far enough. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it for now. A lot of fish jumping. That's crawfish. And this is the medium cut bait to which he speaks so highly. We'll make that 94 just to be a little different. I think since it's nighttime, I might also try my hand at doing a little lure fishing but with this I think I'm going to use something glow in the dark we just so happen to have a glow in the dark one here we've got an eight foot and a three foot let's go with the eight foot because it is a little bit heavier bigger hook so we'll get a little more casting distance well I'm not sure we're going to get a chance to do that usually you get a lot of bites, so and we got us a big one here. This is probably a flathead. Yep, sure is, and it is a trophy flathead right off the bat. This is the medium cut bait. Now this could be, again, another flathead. Don't think it's a trophy. Yep, it is another flathead. See what I mean by bites? Wow, okay, this one's off the large liver. So I'm pretty certain it's going to be a trophy. two trophies and to give you an idea just how big the trophy ones are there you go not a bad fish 
29 pounder 46.935 inches I want to get a picture just in case something goes wrong and I don't get the unique <laughs> I already you already saw that I have, so you got the evidence. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get a picture of him just to make sure. There it goes. For some reason it wasn't taken. Okay, we've got all our lines now in, so we're gonna throw them back out. Try this large cut bait again. Now I'm using a variety of four aught hooks here, though. Actually, I'm using a regular four aught, the X series four aught, and a barbless four aught. Supposedly, the barbless give you more XP. Okay, trying to figure out if he's going to go for it or not. Okay, I think we got us yet another flathead catfish. Another trophy. That's three trophies in a row there, guys. You're going to fill up your net very, very fast. So, if, depending on your level, if you are in, you know, mid-range of levels, this would be a great, great thing to grind at night, especially. I still want to try to do that. that. Yeah, this is what I wanted to try. I don't know if I'm going to get much of a chance, but we will see if anything goes for it. I was going to say, it will probably go to the bottom. That's my guess. Not very deep here. I'm not sure what I'm bumping up against, but it's probably underwater logs and things. Well, he gave up. Now, I'm not going to sit there and tell you that it's better to fish for these at night or in the day, but I, because I got them both times. I'm thinking... See there, we got a bite. I think we got a smallmouth bass. Yep. Now we can try float fishing. See, I've already got it set up for that, and I am going to probably need to put the leader way. Actually, no, not for gar, not for gar. For gar, we want about 20 inches. That'll actually be better to keep the those darn catfish away. Actually, might have a better chance of getting one this way. We can zoom in. Now, you can get a real good look of that spot that I was telling you about. There's that groove I was telling you about. Runs right along that rock. There's the two rocks at the base of it. And you see it's just to the left. He told me to put it there, and I swear to God, I think it was like five minutes later, I got a unique long nose gar. It was in the morning, early morning, but I got one. Alright, well he came back, so let's see what he is. Now this could be... This could be our friend. I don't know. No, yep, we got us along those gar. And it's a trophy. It's a trophy. 
There you go. First one. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Now, obviously, the unique's going to be a lot bigger than that, but that's still a good size fish. 44 inches. 12 pounds. I have caught these. I have caught these many, many, many times. Got my hands ripped to shreds over them, too. Used to have to get them out of nets when I was in college. They would get hooked up in nets by accident. Unfortunately, it would kill them, but they get all caught up and those teeth get all snagged snagged up in the, the nets and sometimes they wouldn't be they wouldn't die and you can get them out and let them go but we're gonna see if we get anything float fishing as well but as you saw he went for the large liver that's that's an all new one I have not seen seen them go for that yet so that's new all right that's our first run now we got one on the second one over there second to last one yeah Figure it was another flathead just from the sheer weight of it. This one's probably a trophy. Just something's after our float rod again. Yep, another trophy. That might be the biggest one we've gotten tonight. Ah, you kidding me? didn't even take it down. He just picked, pecked it off. Definitely getting a bite off of this one. Well, if we were, he quit. Seems to be that same rod again. Alright. God bless it. Some finicky fish tonight. Okay, it definitely has it. Now this cigar. Trophy. Another trophy, guys. And this one, I think... That's a catfish. Another trophy, I believe. Yep.
All right, looks like we got us another one here. All right, getting a lot of catfish though. That's the only thing. Yep, got us yet another one. Might have to cut some of this out because we're getting too many. We want to get that unique guy. Damn it. <laughs> he almost got it. It was a catfish. I was trying to glow in a dark shad just to see. Oh, wow. This is a big fella. This has got to be a trophy flathead. Judging from how much pressure it's putting on there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a glow-in-dark 4-inch shad. I'm using the X-Series 1.5-ounce jig head with a 4-out hook. I have not tried this for gar yet, but catfish almost got it, which I have not been aware that the flatheads went for soft baits. Usually they just go for you know the regular catfish fare. Let's try skittering it and see if that does anything. Now what skittering is, is you put it at a higher speed and you stop for an extended period of time in between. As I say, sometimes it works pretty good. There you go. Got me a trophy large amount bass with it. <laughs> That's just a little little thing and you can do it full speed. I mean you just got to make sure you put a pretty good pause in there. You kind of got to get a feel for where where things stand. I mean, you don't want it to give you one dot getting any good presentation out of it. I see right now four. I'm not getting any. I'm not getting anything. I was getting it at three. Now, real skittering, you put the you put the rod down and reel it while it's on the rod holder, but we can't do that here. So, oh wow, it's 4 a.m. Okay, I got something bit into it. I don't know what. I'll be damned. A red fin pickerel. <laughs> Haven't I got one of those for a while? Yeah, it's almost daytime. At least on this map. Okay. Alright. 
right, let's see what we got here. I think it is Long Nose Gar. And it is a trophy. Now we're starting to get some good action here. Now we're going to get them all at the same time. And there's a gar, finally. And it's a trophy. Another trophy. We're getting a lot of trophies, but... Okay, this is a big catfish. Probably a trophy. No? He's just good sized. There we go. I think it's another, uh, yep, it's a trophy redfin pickerel. There we go. Got that with a bullfrog popper. That's as big as they come here. One point five three seven pounds. Yeah, most of the time you're gonna catch them over on this side of things. I haven't really caught them anywhere else. He's definitely on this one. It is a gar. And it is another trophy. <laughs> ah, Lord. It's like they just keep getting past me somehow, somehow here. Something is definitely chasing this one. Could be another large mouth bass. It's chasing it. There it goes. Yeah, I think it is. That seems to be all I'm getting out here. That's the only trouble with using large minnows. And then you can get all three of them. Let's put the medium cut bait on there and see if that doesn't. See how that popped back down to 23 inches? I don't know why it keeps doing it. It's like it does not want to stay at 24. And if you've got, when I set it for 40, it always pops to 39. It's infuriating. Well, we're going to try this spot for four more minutes, guys. If I cannot get that unique I I will tell you I did get one here we're gonna go over to my spot but right now there's the uniques are being contrary <laughs> at least in this location Yeah, I think it's time to move over to that spot. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pack this up. We're just going to Woody Enchantment. We're not going far. And we'll see if we can make a dent in this. Alright, guys, we are here at Woody Enchantment, and...
I've already got my rod set out in the spot that I have always had good luck getting the long nose gar. And I will tell you, I have gotten them occasionally over here by the stick ups, but most of the time when I have gotten them, I've gotten them over in this area, and if I'm float fishing, usually medium or large cut bait has been most of the time what I've used along these lily pads and let it float down with the current. And I'm hoping that it's going to work the same. Now, we are in the peak, but I'll tell you, another good time is to try it right around, starting around 7 p.m. And it does not matter the peak with Gar. Whoa. Yeah, it's running. It's running. It's a scared little bait fish. And it's going to grab it. There it goes. All right. See? Now, it's not a monster, but that's where they are, and I have always always caught them this way in fact the monster fish that they had for this which was a long nose gar caught him in the same location again just let it float down now you can use the large cut bait you can use any of the baits that the long nose gar have gone for but it seems like I have personally got them off of this or the Halloween baits. Halloween baits they really like. Like the rotten minnows. At 7 o'clock I'm going to see, reevaluate some things and then might try some things later on. I don't know. Nope, we definitely got a bite there. Alright, come on. There we go. This is a substantial fish. It's a trophy one. Yep. In fact, I am going to go ahead and put a marker on that. Ooh, Gar Hunt, Match Rod, and Minnows. Awesome. Trophy pear shaped float, trophy model 0 0.02, 6450 XP, 3 bait coins, and 6200 6, cash. That's a nice one to have, honest to God. That might actually give us the distance we need, too. Let me try throwing that float on there. <coughs> What I, that's right, I also picked this one up too. There's a. It's a, not as big as the other one. This one's much bigger. I mean, it's heavier. And that means we can get some cast distance out. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, we're going to get some cast distance out of that. Without a doubt. That is the bobber we needed. And it's raining. Well, that's interesting. I'm not sure I've ever been here when it's raining. Okay, what we're going to do, we are going to throw our bottom rods, but we're going to rotate them this time. We're going to put them over here start of that marker then I'm going to put one basically what I'm going to do is fan them out along those lily pads and then I'm going to take this one and do what I do let it 
float. Let's see if we get our gar. Might be a little too close to the lilies, but I like it to be fairly close. Not really sure what the rain's gonna do. Yeah, something's definitely after it. Yeah, the gar are not really that much affected by peaks, but they are affected by times of day, and they love late evening. I can see the fish. All right, I think we might have what we're after here, guys. I think we might have him. Yeah, this one's giving me a. This one's big. This one's much bigger than what I've been dealing with. There you go, guys. Well, looks like my spot did it. <laughs> it's held true for for ages, actually. I haven't fished for these guys here probably in a few years and it still works let me get a picture of him now I'm not gonna deny the other place the other place I did get one I just was off screen and didn't record and I wish I had because I would love for the kid to or I'm not sure it was a kid actually I would like for the person to have gotten credit for finding a good spot yeah, I think still is a good spot, but apparently rainy days are good too. But I don't think the peaks are that important. I think it is still late evening, right before, right as, right at dusk is still the key thing. Let me get a good picture of this. All right, there's our unique long nose gar, and that takes. And marks him off our little thing here, I think. Let's see. So, what have we been able to mark off of here? We've been able to mark off all the long nose gars, all the large mouth bass. With the small mouth bass, this is the one I want. You know, I've never caught one here. Never. Of all the time I've fished here, I have never caught the unique smallmouth bass. That has been, for me, the most elusive fish in any of the fisheries that I've been here in here. I've caught, caught the unique crappies, I've caught the unique red ears plenty of times. But never caught the unique here, and I've caught the unique black crappies. I've got all the uniques except for the smallmouth bass. And I even know where they're supposed to be caught. And I've gotten plenty plenty of trophies. So that is kind of my goal, guys. I have got to get that one. I think I think I'm gonna really start focusing on that there. Let me see here. That may not have been the I don't think that was even the close to the largest unique long nose guard that I got. I think my record was bigger. That was like a nineteen pounder. Nope. Yeah. The biggest long nose gar I caught actually at Blue Crab Island. Still with large minnows. Always seems to be large minnows. But anyway, yeah, I think that's where we're going to end up having to head to, guys. Let me see. I have got to go ahead and end this. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. 
So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.